guys, it's Andy, and I will... Oh my god, I'm wearing this again. Hey guys, it's Andy, and I am currently... Oh no, she did not. Uh-uh. My next three videos will all be different genres that you can expect from me on a regular basis. Hey guys, it's Andy, and I am currently baking my face, so that is why I look like this. Cutting straight to the point, I will be working on doing this upside down eye look that Nikki Tutorials did, who is inspired by some makeup artist who is inspired by some other makeup artist. Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. A couple of days ago, I was scrolling on Instagram and came across this insane makeup creation by Nicole. Tate. Nicole was inspired by Trevor J. Barrett. Okay, so after that, I found out Nikki was inspired by Nicole Tate, who was inspired by Trevor Barrett, who she thinks is the originator of this trend. But since then, other content creators have been releasing their own variations, interpretations, and recreations of that look on YouTube such as Monica Tipton, who uploaded a video titled Upside Down Reverse Eye Makeup Tutorial. Sorry for yelling, it was in all caps. Oh, and by the way, she nailed it. Hey guys, this is a lot harder than what it looks. This is a completed look. And then we have the Soofser, who uploaded a video titled Upside Down Eye Makeup Tutorial. Again, she nailed it. I don't think it's that bad. And some people have even done like full send complete upside down face makeup tutorials. On to the moment a few of you might have been waiting for. My recreation. So I am going to grab some primer and no eyebrows. <laughs> Brows. I'm just going to start off by doing the normal brow. All right, now I'm gonna grab some concealer and a very tiny brush. For concealer, I'm actually going to be going in with a foundation, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade Ivory. Sorry about this band-aid. If you would like to know what happened, just comment below. I'll make a story time video about it. I'm going in with the e.l.f. Eyebrow Duo Brush. This is just a super tiny angled liner brush. That is the brow all complete. So, for eyeshadow, I'm thinking I'm going to make it really challenging and try to do a cut crease. I'm a little sister spooked. I think that I can do this. I think I can, I think I can. I'm just going to prime it using the CoverGirl Lid Lock Up. I haven't used this primer in quite some time. We will find out if I still like it. And then setting it using this old beauty blender, <laughs> which I ripped open. I recently got a new Real Techniques blending sponge and I got it. I was like, no way. Is it really that color? Cause like this is the color of my old one. No, they can't be that color. Like, come on, they, they must have changed it. When I transitioned to this one, I ripped it open. Yes, like that. It, that's the original color. This is so stained with foundation that I didn't even realize that it used to be orange. I'm just going to tap this out with whatever setting powder is left over on this. This brush has no name. It probably came in like a set, but you could just use a tapered blending brush for this step. Okay, so I'm committed to not just using um, a tapered blending brush the whole time. So I'm going to start off by going in with this Eco Tools dual ended brush. But this is just kind of like a midway between fluffy and packing. I did just clean my brushes starting off 2019 with a clean brush set. And I will be using Urban Decay Vice 2 palette and the shade Habit to um, sweep that over the lid to give me a base to blend into. We are going in with a tapered blending brush. Now I know I just said that I'm not going to use a tapered blending brush there. So I'm committed to not just using um, a tapered blending brush this whole time. It's the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Um, before I got any like high-end makeup, I did get this palette. It's so good. I'm going to go in with this kind of lime green, which is near the middle of the palette. I'm going to take my Real Techniques sponge. <clears throat> okay, so here's the thing. I'm using my phone to record and it ran out of space. <laughs> but I didn't know that it ran out of space. <laughs> so you did not see me do this whole eye. 
which is okay because this is the less interesting part. And here comes the part that I didn't think about. What am I gonna do with this natural brow? I'm just going to take a powder brush and this is a wet and wild brush and I'm just gonna tap it in, especially underneath this eye. It is imperative to get rid of it. I'm actually starting to look like a normal person again. Now I'm going to take this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and I am just going to drench my face in this. Just let it soak in. Also, you guys, this stuff smells so good. Like, period. 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 It smells so good. Period. Let everything melt into the scoop. I just dropped my favorite palette. Oh, it's fine though. No worries. Huh? That was like my first time actually using this setting spray. I gotta say, I liked it. <laughs> Review equals over. I'm over reviews. I actually did like it. My skin looks good, honey. Honey? You won't look cakey anymore. I just like clawed myself. Shorty I got a melody in my head like a melody and I'm gonna like every day, every day. <laughs> I have to draw an, an upside down brow. You've got a big storm coming. My skin is looking good. Alright, I'm really scared. A big storm. Pink, stop it. That's my Gucci bag. The way that this is grabbing onto a different part of my skin is really just insane to me. Why isn't this doing that? I'm gonna go in with a brow powder and see if that works a little bit better. Oh no. So call me crazy, but I'm gonna go in with a brow powder from this chest. The taupe brow powder was the lightest one. So I actually laid upside down to conceal this, like I was actually upside down for it. And I don't know what happened. We were doing so well. Well, not really. I have like the general shape. I just need to extend it and like make it larger. If you thought making your brows even was hard, try making your upside down eyebrow even with your normal brow. All right, I'm gonna look at this upside down and see what I think. Oh my God, wait, kinda good. I'm shook. If I just broke another light bulb, I swear. Okay, so if we just like flip the footage, then see, like, you decide. Still bad? Okay, okay, I hear you. I'll go in with a little bit more concealer, see what I can do, okay. No need to get grumpy. There we go. I think that's as good as we're gonna get. Moving on. Are there like mice in my room? So I am done with the brow. Flip the footage, that's what it looks like. So let's move on to the shadows. I am trying out the CoverGirl Lid Lock Up Primer. Set it with this beauty blender. Okay, back in with the. Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. My room in the game palette. I can't find it. Hopefully that doesn't affect the end result too, too much. I will just be going in with... Crap. I need that room in the game palette because like, I don't have that to get another palette and if I can't find it, I'm gonna like scream and cry. I quit this YouTube video because like it is so hard to do already. I'm like, I have barely even done anything. <clears throat> What's not clicking? So I'm gonna... I'm gonna go in with this shade from the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Vitality Palette. This doesn't usually have like this stripe in there, but that's because I accidentally mixed shades. To dust that over. One of the scarier parts is that like I'm gonna get fallout on my eyebrow. <laughs> oh, this is already starting to look crazy. Well, I mean, it started looking crazy when I started growing an eyebrow on my cheek. Let's, let's go with a tapered blending brush, and I know that I went in with the lime green first. This is why I always do both of my eyes at the same time, because I don't trust myself to remember. Usually, I can just be like, all right, let's take this into the crease. Why do I have to do this complicated of a look? This eye is not easy to do. This will be a huge beginning accomplishment of 2018 if I can do this. Should I turn you guys upside down for to this? Whoop! No. We're powdered uh, around the brow. <sighs> this is gonna be really hard. That's what she said. Next. Oh, this is gonna be, uh, this is... Why is this turning out like kind of good? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that setting powder was closed. Okay, and I know that I took this to help like really wing it out. So this is gonna snap and go into that. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, we're gonna get there. Like, I'm not gonna die through this. Okay, I think it's time to cut the crease. Oh yeah. It's time, memory, money. 
Okay. So I think that that's like as good as I'm gonna be able to get. What I am gonna do to kind of help with the effect, take this um, angled brush, just kind of draw over that cut crease. So if this video has been in a low, lower quality the whole time, I apologize. I've had it zoomed in. While um, my phone yet again ran out of space, I contoured the nose a little bit. I added a blinding glow. I did the wing and the lower lash. I will be taking it on e.l.f. blush, no, fan brush, which is really good for getting that concentrated glow. Dip it in. Oh my god, I'm sure you guys loved the sound of that. Dig in just a little bit more because it's in the morning. So good! You see what I mean? Oh. Recently, I got this Mario Badescu Badesco. Mario Bad Mario. It's me, I'm Mario. It's me, I'm Mario. Mario Badescu. Mario Badescu. This Mario Mario Badescu skincare. It's a facial spray, and it can be used as a setting spray. But I mainly, like, I just got it. If you can't tell, I mainly use it as like just a pick me up throughout the day. This is already hard. Um, so we're just gonna give our brush like a nice little coating. Just a tiny little bit. Oh. Oh my god. And that is definitely it for this video it took a lot longer than i was hoping well, that's normal for my channel what do you guys think of this video because i think that this turned out this was crazy this just turned out like absolutely crazy but in a good way because i really like how it looks the best part is i only used a tiny bit of setting spray um, I'm done. I'm, you know, I'm... Now we can just take a cute little Insta, Insta baddie moment picture. A little bit of Facetune will block this brow out for us. Alright, that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. That is all I have for you guys. Make sure to tune in next week for... I'll just have to wait and see. Bye. <laughs> Last time I would just fall off. Yeah. When there's a will, there's a way. <laughs>